Hey guys, how's it going? Philotex here, and today I'm doing a Call of Duty tier list. Now, I'm going to be ranking Call of Duty, um, and before I get started, you'll notice that um, something's missing. Um, the new Modern Warfare. Well, this list doesn't contain the new Modern Warfare, but I'm going to go ahead and tell you where, guys, where I would put the new Modern Warfare. It'd go in S tier. Not only is Warzone fun, but the campaign and multiplayer are absolutely great. To me, it's a the very phenomenal Call of Duty, going back to the way it should be. Um, just a good old school Call of Duty game, and I love it to death. So, without the way, I'm gonna go ahead and explain the tiers. So, S tier is a Call of Duty game that I think is absolutely per like it has to have all three things correct. If it contains zombies, it has to have good zombies. If it doesn't contain zombies, it has to have a fun factor. But it has to have a good story, multiplayer, zombies slash fun factor. Uh, a tier is you know, if it has an okay, like, one thing's okay, but the two others are phenomenal. B tier is where one thing is great. Like, well, two things are great, and one thing is just bad. C tier is where, you know, it's a Call of Duty game that's really subpar, really awful, kind of like, you know, one really good thing, but two really horrible things. And then trash is just bad all around. So let's go ahead and get into this with... Call of Duty Ghost. Um, I bought this game when it first came out. It was a Call of Duty game that I was very excited for because I loved I love Infinity Ward. Infinity Ward do amazing stuff with their games. They made Modern Warfare, they made the new Modern Warfare. Of course, they had two blunders, which I'll get to in another one in a sec. As much as I want to put this in trash, I have to put it in C tier, mainly because of the awesome story. If you guys have never played Call of Duty Ghost, the game has a phenomenal story to it. Excellent campaign mode, like like A tier, like S tier quality story. Like if the multiplayer and extinct and the ex extinction mode, whatever it's called, would have been on par with the story, this would have been an S tier Call of Duty game. But as it stands, with just the campaign, it's a C tier game. It has one really good campaign, but the multiplayer is garbage, and so is extinction mode. Um, next is Call of Duty World War II. This is one of the Call of Duties I actually pre-ordered. With Ghost, I bought it day one, but with this one, I actually pre-ordered, and I got the uh, one with the statue. Now, the story on this one is decent. This is a very decent story. I would borderline say it's okay. Like, it's... I would say it's more good than bad. It, it feels more like if Michael Bay directed a World War II movie. Um, zombies was act was horrible in this one. I hated zombies in World War Two. Um, two maps were good. The rest were absolute shit. And the multiplayer was actually fun. So, in terms of that, with just the with the good story, the okay story, and the uh, I won't put this in B tier because to me this one tried to take it back to the way it was. Boots on the ground combat. Uh, I love the World War Two setting. And it's a Call of Duty game I still play from time to time. Uh, I absolutely adore this Call of Duty game. It's fun, but it does have a Michael bay story mode, a little campaign. It has a uh, really good multiplayer and absolute garbage fucking uh, zombie mode. So, that goes right there. Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. Oh, my first Call of Duty and won't be my last. Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare was the Call of Duty that got me into Call of Duty. This is an absolutely perfect Call of Duty from the excellent campaign to the funnest fuck multiplayer. And it's a Call of Duty game you can replay over and over again. I actually replay this all the time on PC. It's that fun. You know, yes, you do come across some hackers, but Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare, I mean, I even played on my Xbox One. The game is just fun. The game is fun to shit. And it's one of those legendary Call of Duty games that will always stand the test of time. Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. This is a tough one, because there's one mode I really love in Infinite Warfare, but the other ones are just garbage. Honestly, I'd rather play Ghost in this. So, the one mode I really love in Infinite Warfare is the Zombies mode. All the Zombies maps in Infinite Warfare are absolutely phenomenal. For Infinity Ward tackling Zombie mode after the Horrible Extinction mode, it was absolutely fantastic. I would say play Call of Duty Infinite Warfare alone for its zombie mode. You have like actual voice actors in it from Seth Green, Kevin Smith, David Hasselhoff, Elvira. I mean you have all of these cool characters. Pete, um, 
Paul Rubens, aka Pee Wee Herman, as the villain. It has an excellent zombie mode, but it falls flat in the multiplayer and in the campaign. The campaign is absolute. Oh, the campaign is absolutely garbage. It's just pure shit. I hate the campaign, the Call of Duty Advanced uh, Infinite Warfare. It is so dog shit. I absolutely hate it. It's one of those campaigns I refuse. I played it once. I'm like, yeah, I'm done. And the multiplayer is a worse version of Advanced Warfare, in my opinion. To me, Advanced Warfare and Black Ops 3 nailed the whole jumping and the exosuit kind of thing where you're more in the air than you are on foot. I think Advanced Warfare and Black Ops 3 nailed that more. Infinite Warfare felt like they didn't do it correctly, so Infinite Warfare goes in trash. Call of Duty Black Ops 3. I want to put that in A tier. Uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 3 has a pretty shit campaign. No doubt about it. has a pretty shit campaign. But it has a fun as hell multiplayer and has a fun as hell zombie mode. This is highly regarded as the game that has the best zombie mode of all time. Like People say this game has some of the best zombies of all time, and I have to agree. Black Ops 3 just has a fun as fuck zombie mode. And the multiplayer is fast paced, fun, and it keeps you on your toes 24-7. It's fun as fuck, and I love the absolute shit out of Black Ops 3. It's fun as fuck. It's just a campaign that really holds it back. Um, next is Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. I want to put that also in uh, A tier. So, the campaign to me was a lot weaker to me than Modern Warfare 1. I don't want to get a lot of shit for that. It's still a good campaign. I still love the campaign. But the main reason why you wanted to play Modern Warfare 2 was for the multiplayer. And to me, Modern Warfare 2 had some of the best COD multiplayer of all time. I just think this one fell a little short of Modern Warfare 1. Um, it's no, it's nowhere near a bad game. Modern Warfare 2 is a phenomenal game. I'm just picking with y'all. You know it's fucking S tier. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 is an S tier game. It has, has a really, the campaign may be weaker than the first Modern Warfare, but it's still a phenomenal campaign. I actually bought the Modern Warfare 2 campaign remastered for a reason, guys. It's fucking phenomenal. Um, next is Call of Duty War at War. Oh yeah, th this, this is my, uh, this is my personal favorite Call of Duty. Uh, I've got this back when it first came out, and man, dude, this game was brutal. This is the one Call of Duty game where I was like, holy shit, this shit's fucked up. Um, had really brutal scenes, the multiplayer was fun as hell, and this is the game that introduced us to zombies, with Nazi zombies. And the zombie mode was very new for Call of Duty, and it was executed well, in my opinion. Treyarch really nailed the zombie mode in Call of Duty War at War. This is, to me, the absolute best zombies. Well, some of the best zombies. It's not. It's one of the best. Um, I don't think it's nowhere near as good as Black Ops 3's. But one of the wars, zombies have stood the test of time. The game is still fun to play to this day, and I love it. Call of Duty Black Ops 1, another S-tier game. Uh, the story is phenomenal. I love the Black Ops 1 story. The Black Ops 1 story is absolutely great. Just a phenomenal game. Uh, the multiplayer, fun as fuck. The multiplayer, I remember I used to play Black Ops 1 all the time on Xbox. And then the zombies, oh my god, the zombies. You had so, he had, he had really good maps at the launch of the game, you know. And then you had the DLC maps, which my personal favorite was Call of the Dead. Where you played as Michael Rooker and Robert England and Sarah Michelle Keller and Danny Trejo. It was so much fun to play zombies with friends. And to me, again, Black Ops, just like World of War, has stood the test of time. Call of Duty Black Ops 4. <sighs> this is a tough one. I want to put in C tier. Uh, this game has no story. There is no story mode in Black Ops 4. They wanted to focus on the multiplayer. The multiplayer is decent. And to me, the zombie mode in Black Ops 4 is, the, to me, one of the weakest like, it's, like, above World War II's zombie mode, but I prefer, like, zombie modes from, like, Black Ops 3, World of War, Black Ops 1, you know, stuff like that. And to me, the zombies in this one just was not as good as it could have been. It's still okay, it's still fun to play, but it's, it's eh. And, of course, the Battle Royale, um, it's okay. I mean, to me, this is a very okay-ish game. You know, it's a game I can play, but it's nowhere on a level of what, you no know, other call it. Like, it's better than Infinite Warfare. It's on the same level to me as Ghost. 
but it's nowhere as good as World War II or any of the ones above it. Um, this is Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Uh, this one's going to have to go in... I remember Modern Warfare being really disappointing. It's going in B tier. Um, I remember the story being very disappointing. Uh, the multiplayer was really fun, but the story really dragged it down for me. I did not care for the story of Modern Warfare 3. After playing the amazing Modern Warfare 1 and Modern Warfare 2, you were expecting something like a great epic conclusion to the trilogy or like an e a great epic third game, right? But the story to me was a big letdown for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. If the story was just a little bit better, it could have been an A tier. If it was on the level of Modern Warfare Modern Warfare 2, it would have clearly been an S tier. But as a whole, it's an okay game. It's 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 above average Call of Duty game. It's above average. Black Ops Two, yeah, you, you guys know where that's going. Uh, Black Ops Two, man, I fucking love Black Ops Two. This people consider this the best one of the best CODs of all time. And you no, know, they have a they have a good point. COD Black Ops Two story was great. Um, the campaign was fun. The multiplayer was fun. Uh, the zombies was excellent. Uh, my favorite being Transit. I love the zombie transit. Oh my god, I love zombie transit so much. Um, just this had this is just I just noticed all the older Call of Duties are on top. But yeah, Call of Duty Black Ops 2 is one of the greats. It's a fucking phenomenal game, and I love it to death. Last but not least, this is gonna be the controversial one. Call of Duty Advanced Warfare by Sledgehammer Games. I'm putting that in A tier for for one. It try to change it up, you no, know, do something different. I think it nailed it. I, I love playing Advanced Warfare. Uh, back in the day, man, that game was so much fun. I loved getting the different rarities of guns. I love getting different exosuits. I love, you know, I love the shooting in the game. To me, the campaign was pretty good. Uh, it, was, it was better than Infinite Warfare's. Uh, the multiplayer was fun as hell, but I will say the only thing this game lacked to me was zombies. The exo zombies were not that fun to me. It was just meh. It was just a meh zombie mode. Um, but it's it's one of my guilty pleasures. I know Advanced Warfare is hated on, but I actually love Advanced Warfare. So I'm sorry if I pissed you guys off of that, but I do love Advanced Warfare. So anyway, guys, this is my Call of Duty tier list. Uh, keep in mind, uh, Modern Warfare, the new one, would be an S tier. But uh, yeah, this is my Call of Duty tier list. So I hope you guys have an awesome day. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I hope I didn't piss anyone off. So have a good day, guys.